Hey guys, we're checking JJ here. I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. See these repulse? Very important that you get a wire every now and then and send it up through there. Send it up through there because I pulled the sails off. My sails are off right now. And you had to see the build up the dirt, pine needles. You'd be surprised what gets in these um in these runners here. You'll be surprised. Um but um you get a little brush and you brush it out and then you blow it out. And um I got my sails soaking right now, so um I scrub them and soak them. You know I did the front one. I'm doing this one, I got two more on the side to do the front side and the back side. I already did that one. And um, the dirt and the pine needles that come in there, even bugs and insects get caught in there and it just clogs up. If you don't do it, it's gonna clog up and it's gonna end up going into the RV. So if you can't even get your sails off, at least run the wire in these peepholes, in these weep holes, because that's where the water comes out of. See, mine are very clean right now. The water's gonna come in right out of the people so one less headache I gotta worry about and um, screens if you guys know how to take screens out um, I'm afraid to force them I'm afraid if I force them I'm gonna break them uh, if you guys have any comments leave them below on how to take the screens out uh, I'd be much appreciated uh, so that's my project today took the seals off clean the clean the runners all the way around Took bugs out, needle, pine needles, and, and a lot of dirt. And actually, in this back part right here, there was actually mud. Looked like there might have been a mud wasp making a nest in there, but he's gone. The nest is gone, and uh, it should be good to go for the summer. So I'm, I'm told I was told to do this by a guy by the call by the name called Wanderer. Something Wanderer. Um, old timer old timer so yes clean out your peepholes and if you want to go a little bit further take off your seals soak them clean them throw them back on and you're good to go for the summer or the next two years you know um this one I'm not going to take off uh, I, I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I might take it off yeah I may take this off you know um, seeing them out here doing it, I might as well take it off. You know, it doesn't take much to get them off. Um, if I could find my screwdriver. I don't know what I do with my screwdriver. I want my screwdriver. I'm always losing tools. Always losing tools. This is what I use to sweep it out with, you know, sweep it out with, see? Let's make sure everything's out. Soak your, soak your, soak your seal, clean it off, throw it back in. Um, I think I did with that screwdriver. You know, if my head wasn't attached to my shoulders, I'd lose that too. And, um, Oh, know where it is? Look, look where it is. Right there. I'm such a knucklehead. You ever do that? You ever look for your glasses and um, you find out that they're on top of your head? <laughs> These could be hard to do if you if you never had them out before. So what I do, I usually go where the first little seam is. And um, not going too deep because you'll fracture the window. And you just pull it off. Okay. Now let me show you guys something. See all the dirt on there? You know like dirt? I don't know if you guys can see that dirt. See all the dirt? Now let me, sh let me show you guys something else. A lot of dirt on that seal. And you want to know if there's a lot of dirt on that seal? 
Look at the dirt in here. Can you see this dirt? There's insects. There's dirt. There's just leaves and everything else that gets in there. See there's something sticky here? It's probably the glue for the window. But the spider webs. But look at look at that insect. See that insect right there? See it? Yeah, look at that, huh? That's why it's good to clean these. It's good to clean them. If you don't clean them, look at this dirt coming out. Look. Look at this dirt coming out. It's pretty much just old pine needles and stuff like that. But um, every now and then you run run across a, a hard spot, which is probably a shelled insect, like a like a beetle. You know. And, and what I do after that is I usually just brush it out. You know, I'm getting good at this. You know, I'm really getting good at this. And you just brush it out, brush it down to the bottom. Get out what you can. Sweep it back and forth to both corners. A lot of this stuff's coming out. Most of it's coming out. You know, this is a, a DIY, they call it, a do it yourself. -er. So that's a tip for you guys. That's the tip for the day. Okay, this happens to be my bathroom window. And then you just blow it out, you know. And you're done. And you're done. So this side of the RV is done. The back window's done. I still got two on the up. One, two, three. Three on the other side to do. Three on each side and the back window. So the passenger side is done. It's one less headache. So that's that. I hope you guys learned something from this today. And, um... Don't forget the peepholes. Clean those peepholes out with a piece of wire. You know, shove them up in there. The two or three foot piece, shove them in there. Loosen all that stuff up. And um, Or you just pull off the seal like I just did. And um, clean it out, brush it out, scrape it. You know, it's not hard, it's not difficult. As long as you got a ladder, you're good to go. Uh, this particular window don't have a seat pole. You know, not that I see of. Uh, we pole, I call them seat poles, we poles, whatever holes they are. But uh, it doesn't have a we pole, you know. But um, it's probably, it's probably just, um, there's a reason why there's no we pole there. And uh, that's one reason, but uh, I'll never find out. So peace out. That's the tip for the day. Bye bye. Be safe. Love your loved ones. Travel safe.